If you're going through a hard time and you need comfort, it's my honor and my privilege to help you in whatever way I can. We're going to discuss five things in this video. The first is that you're not alone. The second is that there are silver linings. The third is why you found this video. Fourth are little things that you can do for comfort when you're going through a painful time. And the fifth are bigger things that you can do that provide comfort. So let's begin. Hello, I'm Debbie Gruber. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're going through a hard time, the first thing that I want you to know is that you are not alone. All of us, each and every one of us, go through hard times in our lives. Very, very painful things. Death of a loved one, divorce, loss of a job, things that are very, very painful. Sometimes they're totally unexpected. We can feel like we're falling off a cliff, that we're just totally out of control and totally wrapped up in sadness and in grief. But again, I want to repeat, you are not alone. Every one of us go through this. It might be difficult to hear because it sounds as if I'm not giving enough weight to your pain, but I want to tell you that truly there is always a silver lining in every cloud. And I know that cloud is again, very, very heavy, but there truly will be at some point a silver lining for you. I promise at the other end of your pain, of your hard time, you will come out to be a stronger, better version of yourself for having gone through the pain and having survived it. Also, sometimes pain and difficult times give us an opportunity to pivot to bring new things into our lives, new good things into our lives that otherwise wouldn't have appeared or manifested. I promise you that down the road, there are more good things coming your way, more good experiences, more good people in your life. So please just hang in there. I want you to know that I'm so proud of you. And if enough people in your life have not told you that they're proud of you, I'm sorry, but I am proud of you. By walking through your life day by day, even though you're in pain, struggling, doing the best you can, and I know that you're doing the best that you can, I am so proud of you. Do you know that there are 2,500 brand new videos uploaded to YouTube every single minute? And you found this video. To me, that's not a coincidence. To me, it was meant to happen. I don't know if that sounds crazy or not, but if you agree with me, if you think that you finding this video was meant to happen, please let me know in the comments. Or if you don't think so, let me know that too. I'm really curious about what you think about that. When you're going through a hard time, there's lots of little things that you can do for comfort. And I'm going to tell you some of the little things that bring me comfort. They're little, but they're powerful. Smelling coffee in the morning and tasting that first sip gives me, for whatever reason, a coffee addict, <laughs> an immense amount of comfort. The smell of lavender. I have a bar of lavender soap in my bathroom. And when I shower and I lather myself up smelling the lavender, makes me feel a little bit better. I love when clothes emerge from the dryer and you take them out right away and they're still warm. And I actually put them up to my face and I feel the warmth and I smell them. And that's a pleasure for me and it brings me a measure of comfort. I love the sound of children's laughter. When they're playing and they find something funny, they just let out this very big laugh, this very big giggle, and it's beautiful. Speaking about children, one of my favorite smells, and it brings me such joy, and it makes always makes me feel better, is the smell of a newborn. They have a certain beautiful aroma that I just can't get enough of. <laughs> One day I'll be a grandmother, hopefully, and I will smell those babies from here to kingdom come. I also get a lot of comfort from petting my dog. I have a dog, Lucky. 
he's 16 or he's going to be 16 in two weeks and petting him when I'm going through a hard time makes me feel better. I also adore the feeling of sun on my face. It feels warm, it feels comforting, it feels like hug. One of my favorite places in the whole world that always brings me comfort and peace is the beach. I love the beach. I love the smell of the ocean. I love the sound of the waves lapping against the shore. I like the feel of the sand between my toes. It's always so peaceful and comforting to me. Eating an ice cream cone outside on a warm summer night is lovely, is comforting, and always brings a smile to my face, especially if it's chocolate ice cream, because that's my fave. There are also bigger things that can bring us comfort when we're in pain. One of those things seems a bit counterintuitive, and that is crying, my tears. Letting my pain out in the form of weeping brings comfort. It's a relief. It feels good. It doesn't solve anything. It always feels after crying as if a burden has been lifted from my heart. Another bigger thing that brings me comfort and can bring you comfort is knowing that you're connected to people, to someone, even if it's one person, that you have a connection with them. Connection is comfort. Also, loving deeply a person, a pet, is very comforting. And the opposite, knowing that you are deeply loved, again, by a person, by people, by a pet, is provides so much comfort. I also, and I know that you will too, find music comforting. One of the songs that I play that brings me comfort when I'm in pain and I find really inspiring and I hope that you will give it a try if you've never heard the song, is Hallelujah, sung by Leonard Cohen. It's a deeply moving and inspirational song. And I hope that you give it a try. And I hope that you have songs that you feel are comforting to listen to. The only way that I know of to feel better when you're in pain is to actually walk through the pain. Let yourself feel it even though it really hurts so much. And I know that because I've been there and I'm sorry, it hurts. But to get past it, you need to walk through it. Often we suppress pain because we don't want to feel everything that's in there because it hurts so much. But suppressing it keeps it inside of us and it lives there. But when you walk through it and you let it out, it doesn't live there anymore. And you can go on and you can recover every day that you're in pain, I want you to do some little things that bring you a bit of comfort. Maybe some of the little things I suggested or little things that make you feel better. I also want you to do other things, the bigger things that I know will bring you comfort. Hold tightly to your loved ones. Feel how much you love them. Feel how much they love you. Feel connections to others. I truly hope that you feel better soon. I pray for that. I don't want you to be in pain. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all for now. Love you.